Hey guys, JH, walk with practice tea. Been raining for a few days and grass is still wet and long and it's good to get out. Feel a little stir crazy when you can't get out and hit some golf balls, huh? Okay. Something I've noticed with a few people trying channel lock of late. Guys, when you're set up to hit channel lock, you've got to be set up in a nice, balanced, unrestricted, unconvoluted manner. And what I've seen with some guys lately is that they look really too manipulated and convoluted at a dress. Guys, if we have a normal golf swing and we're setting up to it and we have a normal posture and a normal setup, see what's happening here? We're feeling the weight, the balance, the distribution of mass, the equilibrium uh, set up at a dress. I mean, I mean, that's what we're doing. We're trying to get in here so that we're in a nice, balanced, athletic position to support the momentum the speed and the force of the golf swing. Now nothing changes when you go to channel lock. But what I'm seeing with channel lock is guys getting in here and, and tending to look like, and we'll do this side on, tending to look like this at address. The guys, you can't get like that. You can't swing the golf club from a position like that. All that will do is, is, is tighten everything up and make you take the club somewhere. There'll be no swing in that, in that process at all, in any manner or form. So you can't get in here, and we don't want to do this, you know, crazy cocking of the, of the head or the, or the upper body in that direction there, because you, I couldn't take the golf club back from there. So what, what we're doing, guys, is we're coming in, as we would normally in a normal golf swing, and we're feeling balance and equilibrium at address. I start this way, I put my trail foot here and then I put the golf club down and I don't want to, to change that orientation there at all. But as I'm doing that, I'm balancing. I'm feeling my balance, I'm feeling my connection with the earth. And if I just stand here normally guys, just, just in a state of erectness, as a homo erectus, as we are as a species, we're not homo horizontalis. We're homo erectus. So what do we do when we stand up normally? Guys, we dis distribute our weight equally and proportionally and correctly. Now when I stand like that, just, just in a state of upright equilibrium, where do I feel the weight? I feel it here towards the back of my feet, uh, sort of just forward of the heels, moving into the arch there. I, I, I feel sort of a... I don't feel like that. I, f I feel like my knees are just pointed in to give me some side stability. And if I was going to take off in a walking gait, that's how I would go. And I would go from that station here, guys, which is, which is the station of balance and the station of normal equilibrium, where our horizontal and our vertical centers of gravities are set in place and aligned correctly. I wouldn't start off walking like that I'd start off walking like that because I can move my mass correctly and my weight is balanced correctly. So what we have to do guys is, is set our weight correctly at address. Now the easiest way to do that, and I know you're learning a new process here, but you don't want to get away from the base fundamentals of, of human balance and 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 orientation of the body at address. You don't want to get away from that ever. So start start this way. Get the get the golf club in your in your hands and put it down there opposite your trail foot. Now just feel your balance there. As I do that I feel my balance into my heel and just forward of my I move it a little bit towards the ball of the foot but then I bring it back to the rear side of the arch. 
the rearward section of the arch or the rearward direction of the arch and I position that foot there. Now, now in channel lock the predominance of weight is back here in this in this segment back here guys. It's not over here. It's not forward of centre. Now what I do with my lead foot is purely for me for balance. I don't really <coughs> bring it up in terms of a stance line anymore. I've determined what that, that stance line requirement is relative to back cocking. I know what that is now. So I use that lead foot purely as a balance mechanism. So come in here, start from here. Feel that the body is nice and relaxed. It's in a, in a, in a, it's, it's in a phase and a facet of balance and equilibrium. Bring the lead foot in here. <clears throat> but guys, and then sit into your buttocks and your, your heels and, and, and the backward portions of the arch of the feet. Don't, don't, don't set up like this. And don't set up you know, with the weight sort of hanging out here. My weight doesn't hang anywhere. Well, it, it has a, a bit of a predominance to hang in my buttocks over my heels. And, and guys, you want that because that's a state of readiness in balance. Because we're going to, to, to move the body at speed with mass moving around a, a fixed swing centre. So we have to have supporting uh, mechanisms of balance. And, and that is our feet and our legs and our lower body in position to support that. Now, well, when we get in here, guys, we want to feel nice and balanced and nice and, and relaxed looking. We don't want to be in here like this. I, I couldn't take the club back from there. I couldn't swing it. I need to have my arms in this orientation here. I don't have, personally, I don't have a lot of ulnar deviation in my, my setup because that would extend my arms a little bit. There's not to say you can't do that. You know, it, it's fine to have your arms extended to dress. I just personally don't do it because I like to get my arms as close to my body as I can because that gets my mass closest to my center of rotation. Now, when we see the ice skater and she puts her arms or he puts his arms, brings his arms in, he spins faster. That's because he's controlling his mass better relative to his rotational axis. That's why they go faster when they bring their arms in. Now, I want to start like that before, because I feel that I can control my arms better and I can get more, just, just more efficiency in my arms. So I'm getting in here, I'm putting the club down here, balance down there, then I'm sitting back into my, into my haunches, so to speak. I feel like I'm here, guys. Someone's going to throw something to me. I'm in a state of readiness. I'm not here. If someone threw something to me, I'd probably fall over. And if you came over to me in my state of setting up here and when I get into my state of readiness, you'd be hard pressed to push me over from here because I'm balanced. I'm, I'm balanced vertically and horizontally. And, and those, those horizontal and vertical uh, centers of gravity are balancing themselves out. And that's where I want to be, guys, because I'm in a very, very proficient position of address when I, when I assume and attain that position. Now the other thing that I notice when I see people and I can and I know they're out of balance is when they get this in the downswing. If they start off from here like this, they take it up. They're not in balance, they're searching for balance on the downswing. And they tend to do this on the downswing. They tend to, that's called early extension here. They tend to do that and watch this lead leg here. This lead leg will come up and see how the weight has moved off that. Well do it this way. So as I come down here, as the, the pelvis moves forward, I, 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 I relieve the, the, the support balance, which is, should be in the, in the heel of, of that trail foot so we can support it with the hit. It doesn't, it comes forward, guys, and that, that lead heel lifts. Now, I see that with some guys. You don't want that lead heel lifting up like that because that means that you're you're really extending like that and you can't release the golf club. And you'll get this look about you through impact. You get that look about you through impact. You can have a little bit of that look about you, but you've got to have release going. And the way you release the golf club, guys, is that heel has got to support the release of the momentum and the mass of the golf swing going forward. So we need to be in this state of of, of readiness here, nice balance. 
And see my weights here, guys? I can actually do that. Here. But I see a lot of guys doing this. They're in here. And they look like this side on. They look like this at a dress. They go back here and then they go here. And they look like that at impact. That's so inefficient, guys. You can't do that. That is incredibly, unbelievably inefficient. At the end of the day, you've got to get the arms swinging past the body efficiently. Now, they're just the first shots of the day, guys. And what I'm feeling there is that my mass is, is centralised and it's verticalised. It's not moving out there. Uh, if anything, it's moving that way a little bit. I want to support the arms going out to the ball. Remember, the arms go out to the ball, guys, but the club head goes here. And that's the other thing. You won't be able to release the club with any venom in the forward swing if you're what we call early extending. If you come in here like that and you're doing that, the club's going to go out there and you're going to get this movement of the lead arm away from the body like that. Now you can't release the club sideways when you do that. We've got to be here guys. When we fire it, the arms go out but they maintain their, as much connection as they can and the club head goes this way. Looks like this. Arms go there, club head goes here. You can have that. Because that, that's velocity. That, that, that's velocity in the, in the golf swing. But you don't want that, that lead heel coming up, guys. <coughs> that's moving onto the toe. That, that's, <coughs> to use Jim McLean's terminology, that is a death move. That's a death move for, for channel lock, no question. So we get in here, we start, we, we balance on our heels. We get nice and soft. See, I'm here, guys. I've got the in, I've got the, in, the front of my foot up. I don't want to have the back of my foot up. Because you'll get into this position. Back of the foot up is that. And you'll get that look about you. Can't play golf like that. Just can't play well you can but you won't have you won't have any efficiency of release all right now put it all together get in here balance put the club in there take it all back weight on towards the heel wow gee that's a good shot for me now that must look fairly <coughs> A fairly easy body movement you know why guys because it is <laughs> that 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 is a very easy body movement and I wish the cows had been over here and chewed this grass down all right now this is it setting up to the right foot balance here here coming in balance down through my hamstrings here my buttocks I'm sitting back I'm not here Swing the club on the backswing, guys. You've got to swing it. You've got to have that momentum in it. You can't get here like that and take the club back like that. You've got to swing the club. The tennis ball on the string. Now, someone said to me the other day, JH, you know, it's okay for you. You make it look easy. Guys, you know why I make it look easy? Because it is easy. I only make it, you know, I'm no athlete <laughs> and I don't do anything different to you guys. I've got two arms, two legs, a head in the middle of the body and no great athletic capability. So I'm only making it look easy because I'm doing it easy. I'm not putting obstacles in my way from the point of view of, 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 of extraneous um, imperfect balance factors. I don't want any of that. Here, we just set it up. Look, here, get the arms here. Just set it up, just feel. Feel soft. Here, we're gonna just take that club back. Now, 
Now someone asked if I've, because I've got a very short abbreviated swing, do I lose any distance? No, I don't. I had my irons the same distance today as I did when I first started playing at 34. And I'm 76 now, so that's 42 years ago. I don't hit my driver as far because I don't take my, my club back as far as I used to. Um, well, well so I don't have the swing speed I used to have with my driver. But I've always hit my irons conservatively, so I still hit my irons. And with the new equipment, I still hit at the same distance I did when I was... Uh, 34 years old with a younger, uh, fuller golf swing. So you don't lose any distance with uh, channel on. Okay, so here we are, we're balancing in here, we're sitting on our haunches, we're gonna swing that club back. And guys, it doesn't get any easier than that, and it doesn't get any better than that. Those three balls up there in a six foot circle. And they're the first shots of the day. So guys, it's very important to look at this Look at yourself. Don't get, don't get tied up like this. Feel everything's heavy. Everything wants to get that way. We don't want stuff feeling up this way. And we don't want stuff feeling up that way through the ball. Through the ball, it's, it's heavy hands through the ball. And a heavy club head through the ball. Everything's going down and out. Okay, guys, have a look at that. I'll come back in a moment and I'll talk about um, something else that I think is, uh, is relative and important as well.